going on, you guys? What's going on? Welcome back to another video with your boy Abe Show. I'm a so. Hold on one second, y'all. Had a freaking eyelash in my freaking eye. Uh, don't mind my hair if it look frizzy right now. I'm put condition in my hair right now. And then letting in it get in that moisture before I put that oil back in it. But man, if you can tell by the title of this video, well, I feel like the PlayStation so loud right now. Hold on, let me turn the PlayStation down. If you could tell by the title of this video, man, I don't, honestly at this point, I don't even know what I even want to title this video. Whatever this title ends up being, that's the title of this video that it's going to be. Um, as you guys can already tell in the charts, the market today, after that federal farm rate news that came out, did exactly what it's supposed to do. The markets, bro has been playing out perfectly to a T. Between the markets playing out perfect, everything I'm getting ready to bring to the academy, the value, the different series that we're about to start, the, the chats that I'm bringing back. Uh, speaking of chats, yes, I have officially decided to bring back the currency chat. I've been asking a couple of my academy members and seeing how they felt about it. And everybody was like, yeah, bro, that'd be cool bringing the currency, the currency pairs back and stuff, especially like after just going so focused and so crazy on the indices this year, I really have, I would say, like definitely neglected the currency, the currency chat, as well as my people that actually care to trade currencies. Now, when I do step back into the currency realm, understand that there are going to be setups that's going to be like, I'm going for the currencies. I'm looking for my main setups as far as looking for the overall direction of the trends, and I'll be trading on that four-hour time frame. In the day chart time frame only. So with that being said, understand that there isn't going to be as many setups. But when those setups do come, just know that we're going to be having those plays that we're going to be looking for on our markets. I'm going to figure it out by the end of this year. Because it's, it's not going to officially start to next year for sure anyway. But for my live trading room, I think I'm going to do a London session, live trading session for the currency pairs as well. So that means... If I do step into that realm, and like I said, I guess it, it really kind of depends on the days where we're at those at those areas that I'm looking for on the charts. So depending on how that's looking, um, I might do like two days with the currency pairs and then two days for London with my NEC pairs. Because I already do the London session with the NEC pairs. I haven't been doing it so far this month in general just because the market is starting to slow down. It's not moving as much. But as we start to get back into quarter one for next year, I will be getting back to those London session calls with those NEC periods, right? So, I'm going to figure out how I want to do that. It's probably going to be two days for both pairs. So that way, Monday, Tuesday, or like, <clears throat> not Monday, Tuesday, Monday and Wednesday, maybe London currency or something, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays for the NDCs or something like that. Like, I figure out how I want to do it. Or Mondays and Fridays, currency periods, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, NDC periods or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Maybe I do it like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So I don't know what I'm what I'm gonna add onto this video right now. So I know I'm just talking to y'all randomly. I'm like, you know what? Let me just turn on the camera and talk to the people because I haven't talked to y'all today at all. And I do want to make sure I'm still dropping videos, at least a decent amount of videos for this month of December. Helps with the engagement and then two, obviously, it's vlogs, right? I mean, I got this literally. There's a one, and I really just realized it just now. This camera is so fire, bro. Um, but like I said, I just got the shower, just conditioned my hair and stuff. So that's if you're seeing the shower, what is that? That's what that is. All it is is the water from the beard. Uh, but oh my, I just can't believe how some of these pairs have been moving. Like we could talk about Germany 40, Germany 40 for a second, for example. Like this pair in particular. Look, I call this the the way I'm telling you. I call this trade out so perfectly. For Germany 40. I had two positions actually. And I just remembered that. Oh my gosh. I had a trade for obviously this buy entry that you see right here. And then I had another buy entry for once it finally broke out the zone. I need to actually go back in my ceiling chat and update them and let them know about those. Obviously, they know those CP smash anyway. But let's really talk about it. Like, let's look at this for a second. Like, this market right here played out so perfect. It didn't make no sense. I was talking in the live trading room. And maybe I put some footage in here too with that. Uh, we was talking a lot of trading room. I was saying, hey, at the time, it's consolidating. I want to see a full retest back to the previous higher low in the market. There might be a chance that it might come somewhere in the support level. But all we know is 
Once it pushes down to give us that retest back to the zone, the moment it comes back above and break past this price right here at 16800, we are looking to take those buys. And sure enough, um, when the news dropped, the market took, did exactly as expected, broke, broke below. I was waiting for that retest. It broke below, hit the buy entry. Cool, we're taking our buys back to the top. TP1 and TP2. Because we had, okay, cool, this is a chance that the market might come to resistance and then drop again for the sales. But as you can see, we didn't have the time to even worry about that because it just literally flew and took off for those buys. Right? So as you guys can see, like on the Germany 40 pair, the market was like perfect. Like the way that pair played out, like first of all, earlier during London session, the market was moving a little slow. It was like in the middle of the market, it was in consolidation. So I literally was telling them in a live trading room, like, hey, you know what? I would rather for this pair in particular, either I want to look for buys off of this retail back to that support, or I'm waiting for that buy entry at the top of the zone. And that was like my two main entries that I was looking for. Actually, let's see if I can. Uh, I want to make sure. I, let me see if I actually put that entry in the chat because I know sometimes when I'm in a lot of trading room, I don't put both entries in the chat. I have my specific some sniper entries that I give to the live trading room people versus the entries that I do give to my silly chat people, and that's because obviously. As the market is happening, I give them an adjustment entry that we can look for. But that doesn't mean the entry, the first entry that I gave them isn't valid. It's just if the market gives us another setup to catch a better entry, why not capitalize off of that entry first and then capitalize off of that second entry as well once it came back to. So yeah, here we go right here. I'm going to take a screenshot of this and I'm going to put it right here. Right, so the first entry, the original entry that we was looking for was at 16866. Uh, that was for when we were at the top of the zone, right? When we were at the top of the zone, so originally, actually, I have to replay this back and show y'all in live time. So originally, this is where the market was at. We had a big old zone that it was chilling in there, so I said, cool. I'm not looking to do anything until either it comes to the top of the zone here or maybe even break out the bottom here, and then we can start looking for the sale. So as you can see in that screenshot I had showed y'all, right, from there, that, that first entry was at 16866. So whenever the market decides to break out of that entry, that's when that first entry became valid for those buys. So let's look at the second entry, right? So when we look at this second entry, the second entry only became available because I was talking about, hey, we're starting to see the market go down for the sales. So like like before, actually before not even, before these sales even happened, because this is after the call, the call is from 9 to 10.30, right? I said, cool. Until it gets all the way up here, if it give us a retest back to this higher low and fills to close back below this area, or even just come down somewhere in this support, as long as this market comes back below this price, if it decides to close back above this zone and give us a bullish engulfing candlestick from the previous bearish candlesticks, and it's crazy. I was giving them um, a strategy that they can use to like know when it's time to catch reversals and entries, and I kind of just hinted it just now, but I'm not going to explain that in this video. Because that's, that is not what this video is for. If you want that full strategy and everything I use when it comes to trading, go ahead and join the academy while it's in the holiday special that's going on right now. Right? So, anywho, as it dropped for those sales, it did exactly what it's supposed to do. I know there probably were certain mentees that was thinking like cool, like the market. I know there probably were certain mentees that was thinking like cool, like the market's going for a sale right now. Hey, like, I want to look for these sales right here. But you got to understand the power of a pullback and you got to understand when the market. In this instance, the news, obviously when this news coming out, especially news like the federal fund rates, you gotta be very, oh my list for actually, you gotta be very, sorry about that, my fault, my fault to the fellas that's watching me right now, but you gotta be very, like, in tune to understanding, like, what news events is coming out, how can I play in the market, and then two, staying true to how you trade. Like, for my mentees, yes, we catch zone breakout methods, but on the setup on how Germany 40 was set up in that scenario, it was approaching a support level, right? So we understand that if it's approaching a key support level, now all I know is the overall trend that we've been seeing for the past month is what a trend. It's a, currently approaching a previous main support level that it hasn't touched in probably like a week or two. So what is the probability that once it hit that price, it's going to go back up? And that's exactly what we saw in the charts, right? So after it hit that support, and actually it can't. And once it came back inside that zone that it was in all throughout London and New York, and went to that price at once it's 800, that's when you, that's when you see here on the charts that boom. Entry activated, TP1 smash, TP2 smash, TP3 smash, TP4 smash for, I believe, 950 pips, right? And then, I just want you to see this. This is literally within one hour. This whole kind of stick happened within an hour. One, two, three, four smash in an hour. And then when I run play on this, as you can see, after this one candlestick, once this one hour passed, two hours later, 
all of the all of the TPs that I originally had set for that chat smash. And this is just me. I'm not even showing y'all. Y'all y'all can already if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw me saying all TPs smash on US 30, all TPs smash on SPS 500, TPs are smashing left and right on Nas 100. All four of my chats, SPS US 30 Nas. Germany for I had to count for a second because I, I got a new chat that's about to get released. Um, I believe I'm opening that chat up on Christmas. That's gonna be the when it's actually announced and stuff, and I might actually release it on Christmas. But uh, actually, no, we're gonna do the first. We're gonna open up on the first. But <clears throat> um, what was I saying? Every single one of these chats has been going crazy, and I'm very proud of how US 30 and how. Nas 100 is moving because I gave you guys the Nas 100. We talked about the Nas 100 swing trade since back in August. Back when I did the skydiving video, we was talking about Nas 100, the swing entry for those buys. And then even in the last, let me find out what video it was. One of them videos I did on YouTube, I, oh, I can't remember what episode it was. One, one of those episodes, I told you exactly where is the highest point Nas 100 was at. And I said, what is the probability? Like, I believe that Nas 100 is going to make his way to that price. So I'm about to actually show you all what is going on on the Nas 100 chart. Right? So here we are on the Nas 100 chart. This was the two setups I was looking for today. Cool. If it broke out the bottom of the zone, we was going to look for the sales. But it did a fake breakout, which I love to see. Came back inside and took off for those buys. And as you can see, like I said, y'all already know, RTP smash. But when we're looking at this on a four-hour candlestick, first of all, that candlestick got some momentum. And it's 16758. It's crazy. If I'm not mistaken, this my candlestick kind of should have been blue. This 16758 represents the highest point Nas 100 has been in 2022. The highest point Nas 100 has been in the existence of trading Nas 100, and like in period in general, right? So now I told y'all the area that I was looking for, and here we are seeing the market come back to this level. And the beautiful thing about this is, <sighs> the beautiful thing about this is like. I have over a hundred plus members in my sips in my signal chat and, and it didn't even matter what pair that they're trading in. Like I have mentees that might be in some one one chat versus two, people might be in two of the chats versus other vice versa, however it works, right? Regardless of whatever chat they chose, all trades are stacking TP in every single one. And this is just on a larger scale. Obviously this is normal for me. But on a larger scale, because of the breakouts and just the confidence I've been having, even in a lot of trading rooms, telling them like, hey, like the overall trend is an uptrend right now until it really shows us that it's creating a lower high in the market and really giving us those confirmation that's really going into the downtrend. We are only looking for uptrends exclusively that makes your trading 10 times easier because now you're looking at the market from a whole different perspective. You're only looking to see where are higher lows versus looking to see where you can look for sales at. Right. So here. Now it's 100, still has some room to go. Um, 16758 is right here. Do I believe that the market is due for a pullback? Because obviously, yes, it took off for a crazy buy. I would not be surprised if the market did some type of retest tomorrow, like some type of recovery pullback retest. But overall, I do believe now it's 100 is going to take back off to finish off where it started and go to the highest point that it has reached in 2022 and make that same comeback in 2023. On US 30, pfft, US 30 has already broke through the highest point that we have seen ever. Once again, same thing we talked about now. It's like it has broke through that highest point that we have seen ever. Right? Amazing. Broke through the structure. Where are any swings, man? Oh my god. Like this entry is ridiculous. The entry I have on US 30 is ridiculous. Entry one, and then entry two, once they broke out that zone. Oh my goodness. OD. Talk to me like and it's going for new highs. So now we really I know my confirmation what I'm looking for before I start like decide to actually close for the reversals. But for right now, we are gonna let these trades ride out. We're gonna let these trades ride out. If you wanna get, get access to my sales chat, if you wanna get access to my live trading room, I'm telling y'all, live trading room is literally 95 spots I'm only making available for the whole 2024. In my opinion, that's a really a lot of spots that's still available. So if you're still stalling, if you're trying to get your finances right, I understand it's holidays, I understand it's Christmas, so you need time. Maybe around New Year, you'll finally be able to get it. I don't know when it's going to sell, all these spots are going to sell out. I just know whenever the, the, the spots fill for 2024, that is it. I'm not opening any more spots until maybe quarter three or quarter four, right? And that, that might just be it. And then just as of right now, as I am recording this video, somebody just purchased 
uh, one other last person mentors your spot. So looking at my screen right now, that's crazy. I should I ain't even gonna show y'all. Ain't that point. Person mentors your spot, literally one left now for 2024. My type of people, bro. People that literally it be I have two different type of people that be in my DS. I had the type that will talk me to death. Oh hey, if I wanna join a person mentorship, I wanna do S Y Z, da da da. I wanna do this, I wanna do that, I wanna do this, boom, boom, boom. And then you got the other people that's over here like, I wanna do it, bet, what do I pay? Bet, the wire just hit. Bet, I just sent you the confirmation. What all the chats I need to do, what everything I need to get done, boom, 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 boom. Two, this, this is the client I wanna work with. This is the mentee I wanna work with. Person that's just talking me to death, I hear it all the time, I'm not paying you no mind, I'm sorry. I'm only willing to work and network and mentor people that are actually serious and isn't going to waste my time right so oh my goodness if you're still holding those last 100 positions that i told you i forgot which episode i cannot remember i'm so proud of myself i'm dropping videos back to back can't remember which episode i dropped it in for the last 100 buys and honestly i gave you guys some sbs 500 SPS, I sound like that. I gave you guys some SPS 500 positions to take in one of those episodes as well. And I believe that entry was around 46.40, if not 46.60, if I'm not mistaken. So if you really took that by, once again, you're swinging, you're swing trading like crazy. So shout out to you. Shout out to the people that's actually um, implementing the things that I'm teaching you guys on a daily basis through each episode of the day in the life of a trader. I'm going to keep this series going. Maybe in 2024, I might literally do like a series like it's crazy i'm really gonna be documenting like crazy because i'm planning on traveling in general anyway and i'm going out the country like i told you guys but maybe i might find a way to do a series like like day one uh 365 day series or whatever a day in life of a trade like showing you out a whole process but it's a little bit different now because my perspective is different from back in 2018 i wish i would have been on youtube back in 2018 because then i could really have showed y'all the beginner phases now i'm more the level i'm at i'm more at the top of my trading career the height the heights of you i ain't gonna say height because my ceiling is literally the potential i have the amount of money that i've told my members and my personal mentees that i'm trying to make next year in a day in a week per trade on a month-to-month -month basis um i know that's literally just the beginning and that's that's the crazy thing about it that's the scary thing about it Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. And the way the market is about to get ready to do its thing for 2024, I hope y'all are already prepared. I really do. I hope you guys find your mentor or find somebody that you can watch. If it's me, like I said, let me know in the comments. Leave a like. Let me know you locked in with the Trader family. Um, If it's somebody else, shout out to you for finding your person mentor that you connect with. You feel me? But 2024 is going to be a movie. Uh, the end of this year, like the way that this market is moving in December, December is the month where your favorite trader don't want to trade. December is the month where people are like, I don't even want to touch the markets no more. I'm not touching. I'm not trading at all. And here we are over here capitalizing. And this isn't no luck, right? This isn't no gambling. This isn't no, I guess, the market. This is me understanding technical analysis understanding that it's continuing to create higher lows understanding when that federal funds rate news came out what did that mean for the market and how to actually implement and execute on it like that's tough that's tough oh my goodness so i was gonna i might add something onto this video and i might or i might not i probably won't i think i really in this video i just wanted to be really cut through and really straight to the point about what y'all need to do like if you need to get close to the fire Make sure y'all have my post notifications turned on. Make sure if you can just get in one single set, whatever it looks like for you. I'm telling you right now, you need to get plugged in. ASAP. ASAP. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you are new here. If you're just watching my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, come on, bro. The least you could do, if you stay to the end just now, at least the least you could do is subscribe to the video. Subscribe to the channel. Why not? What is one person subscribe you going to do? Especially if the person you're subscribing to is giving you free setups every Sunday that can help make you money. Come on, man. That's, a, that's all I ask. Just subscribe. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. That helps with the engagement. That gets me, um, gets the reach to meet other people like you. You find my channel, not by mistake. 
You feel me? Like it, it probably is recommended because somebody else liked this video to help get that engagement out. And now you're now you can do the same thing to impact somebody else by liking this video, or and even subscribing, like liking this video, leaving a comment. You can do the same thing by helping the next person find me. I told y'all on Instagram. I'm telling y'all on YouTube. I have over a hundred plus members in my signal chat next year. I want the impact to be so crazy across all my signal chat that I need to have at least over a million across all my signal chats. Or if not a million in the signal chat, a million subscribers on YouTube. Let's get it. Let's really get it. Let's build this, this trading community up. People that are actually serious. I don't care for the fame. I care to help teach and motivate others to get the same results that I have. And the same results that I desired back in 2018 versus now. I've been in the game since 2018. All the hard work, all the the blown accounts, like I've been through it all, all, all the losses, everything that you can imagine. Went to school, went to college, got my degree and everything. Like I'm from all, I got all backgrounds. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. All these different variables and backgrounds showing you, if I can do it, you can do it. So don't be rambling. Let me go ahead, get done recording this video, edit this video, drop it to you so you can be watching this video right now as you see me talk to y'all right now. And I'll catch y'all. And the next one. This is the end of episode 9. And I'll catch y'all in episode 10. Peace out.